We're here at the BMW International Open in Munich. The course is set, the players are ready, and for the first time, the NTT data wall is here, with every shot, hole, and player covered. Welcome to the NTT data experience, and welcome to Golf Club I Can Read. Here is your host. Hello and welcome. I'm Mandy Clark and we are here in Munich at the BMW International Open. With me is Jorn Plink. He is the BMW's head of golf sport and Paula O'Connell, NTT Data's head of sponsorship. Today we'll be talking about uh, partnerships, the passion for sport and uh, how technology is changing the sporting experience. Uh, but sports wouldn't be sports without the fans. And Jorn, I noticed there's a big sign that says welcome back. Oh yeah, uh, finally welcome back. I mean, the last time we could run a full event here in I can read was in 2019. So that's nearly three years ago. And uh, after two tough years, one cancellation of the event, one year with restricted numbers of spectators, we really look forward to yeah, have everyone back, all the fans uh, in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, who come over here and we can't wait to, to, to have them back in the atmosphere and get this week started. And Paula, I know you're a big golf fan and you love live sporting events. So what does it mean to be able to be back on the course? Oh, it's amazing, Mandy. It really is. I mean, there's nothing quite like uh, a live sporting event. You just you just can't beat it. And I think, as as you invitely says, you know, we've we've been on quite a, a long journey together. Uh, as you say, nearly three years, and to actually physically finally now be in Munich, see see our data wall, our, our branded lounge, it, and it just it brings it all to life, and it, it really is amazing. What do you think, or how do you think? Um, the fans change the atmosphere on the course. Yeah, I think everyone realized over the last couple of years how sporting events look like and feel like without fans. The emotions, even the reactions by the players are getting just more emotional. And and yeah, the, the atmosphere, the experience is just a different one. And this is the reason why we all love sport, because there are so many emotions and um, Fans are absolutely part of that, and um, yeah, to every player I talked earlier uh, this week here, everyone can't wait to to play in front of these crowds again, and um, yeah, it's just something different, a different product we have here. What's interesting, you mentioned the players. I wonder if it does matter to them because do they get that energy from the fans? I think so. I mean, these are all professionals. They are used to play in front of crowds, in front of TV cameras, and so on. So. They're probably not so nervous at all, but at least the fans give them the final push and the final focus and um, obviously celebrating with fans and get the applause and the reaction and the feedback. It's just something different and just much more enjoyable for, for everyone. It definitely is a shared experience. And I know for the experience of the fans, they not only get to see the, their favorite players and experience the course, but there's also some goodies that BMW has on display. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the main reason why we are doing this to give our fans, our customers, a proper experience with the brand, with our newest products. We have some great products uh, that recently came out uh, to the market, uh, especially our new 7 Series, the first fully electric 7 Series we ever produced uh, in our flagship car, but also other fully electric cars like the iX, like the i4. Um, yeah, it's just a perfect stage to, to show these products to our customers, but also to our partners and um, give them a great experience in our tournament village. Yeah. Amazing. Very much so. um, numbers wise, what are you expecting over the whole tournament? Yeah, I mean, today is a Pro-Am day. Um, we had a smart start, but just laughed about the numbers we, we already had today. Uh, I heard about 5,000 people only at the Pro-Am day. Over the next four days, we expect 
additional 50 to 60,000. So overall, um, we, we hope to get back to the numbers we had before the pandemic um, to 60 to 65,000. And the ticket uh, pre says went pretty, r pretty well. And I only heard from the team that the ticketing hotline is running really hot over the last couple of days. So we can't wait for, 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 for the tournament to, to be started. And clearly the fans can't wait either. But as you pointed out, last year it was very much a different story. But uh, you did a lovely video uh, uh, showcasing how last year's event uh, was. And it's so nice. Let's, let's have a look. Hi, Ralph. How are you? Good to meet you. Hi, Jörn. Thank you. I'm doing good. What about you? Yeah, very good. Welcome here at Golf Club München Eichenried. And let's go for a ride. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, let's do it. I'm electrified too since around two months. And I liked it. Yeah. It's a lot happening in the automotive industry and the technology goes further. But um, let's not only talk about BMW. Tell me a bit more about you. Yeah, I'm in charge for the business together with BMW for, on behalf of NTT Group. We have a Japanese history, so NTT headquarters is Tokyo. So this means um, trust, commitment and the long term relationship is very much important for us. Absolutely. Yeah, we're arriving here just on the 18th fairway where we meet an historical place. Ah, um, a sign here. What's yeah. that? Great players we had here, like Ryder Cup captains, and one of them is Rafa Hinnik, uh, made an albatross here. Wow. 28th of June, 2009. Great memories. And yeah, uh, all the spectators here looking at the player, and then from here having a hole it. So amazing. Yeah. Let's see what this year's tournament um, is bringing for new stories around that, but I'm pretty sure with NTT as a data partner, we can even capture more about great shots and, 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 and great moments. Our teams were working together for a long time to develop that experience on BMW-Golfsport.com. I think we are providing a real data experience on the European Tour. Yeah, so we have also a long history around golf. So we are involved for the British Open since 2013. And we want to use our knowledge in sports, especially for fan engagement. And I think the con consumption of sports in general has developed further over the years. And I mean, with our data center powered by Entity Data, we have a great opportunity to give all our fans, not only the live feed and, and every single second that is produced from the tournament live and free on bmw-golfsport.com, we, we also offer a, a second screen experience uh, with some cool data and real life statistics and I can't wait to see that online to yeah, be honest. Yeah, so me too, so. so. Have we now arrived here at hole number 17, uh, also a very traditional hole. Yes, uh, the hole in one hole. The hole in one hole. You had a great tee shot here. Yeah, it's not a hole in one, let's see if I can make a birdie. So, let's give him a try. Oh, yeah. great birdie, but no hole in one. Ralph, yeah, well done. thank you, Jörn. So I think we'll let that holy one to the players. Absolutely. Let's leave it to the players and um, see you there. See you. Yeah, thank you. Well, maybe we'll see some of those players manage a hole in one on the course. You know what I always find exciting is watching players and how they tackle different holes. And I know for the first time this year, uh, the NTT data wall will be here at the BMW International Open. What experience will it bring to the fans? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Mandy. And I think just to say that we are so proud to have um, the NTT data wall finally here in, in Munich. Um, it's, it's, it's fantastic, um, located here um, in the heart of the, the spectator village um, right behind us. Um, and it displays all the action as it unfolds um, in real time on, on the screen. So all the fans can sit there um, have a beer and we do all the hard work we analyze the data and um, so they just get to to see all those key moments brought to 
brought to life um, and uh, enjoy the experience. But it's more than just a big screen, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, and when we created that, there's a lot of considerations for a design challenge. Uh, you've got to think about it being easy to read, whether it's 10 metres or 100 metres away, and that, you know, it's easy to digest all of that data in, in all weather conditions, whether, you know, the, the sun is shining or it, there's torrential rain, which I think we might see a mixture of uh, over the, the next four days that, you know, that it's, it's easy to read. Um, so there's a lot of considerations uh, to, to think about for sure. Jorn, what do you think this is going to bring to the fans? I mean, this was always the starting point of our conversation and, and this is now three years ago and um, when NTT Data came to us and we started the conversation about the partnership, we were from the very beginning excited about bringing that experience. NTT Data runs at the Open Championship for many years to a tournament like this. The first DP World Tour event where we have that kind of technology and obviously a huge story for, for us as a tournament, for us as a brand and, and tell that story together with NTT Data is just um, yeah, very exciting. And uh, for the fans, I mean, the fans obviously just don't know what they have to expect. And, and, and I'm very interested in seeing them sitting in front of that wall and realizing, oh, and this tournament is delivering something completely new and they have never seen before and they get even more information around the play, around their favourite players and um, I can't wait to see them sitting in front of the wall. Absolutely, and if they're not right in front of the wall, there's still a digital experience to be had. Yeah, absolutely, and I think, you know, it's important to understand that golf is a very challenging sport um, to to you know to think about you know whether you're on a course or at home that you know if we take the course here for example that it it's spread across what six and a half thousand yards 350 acres so you can't possibly know what's happening across you know the 18 holes you have 156 players starting the tournament um, and that's why that's the beauty of of our technology um, and you know it, it brings all those key moments to, to life and the fantastic um, thing about our online data experience that, that we brought to, together uh, last year is that you have the ability to personalize that experience so whatever the, the players that you're most interested in you get to, to see all the interesting information come to life on, on those players. I wonder how important is technology for the BMW International Open? Yeah, I mean, it, especially due to the pandemic and all the digital topics and that develop further and how to consume sport, especially golf, where mm. you don't have a fast sport where you have, see shot, shot, shot and entertainment. You always have a gap in between. And to, to deliver something in addition to that, um, obviously the technology part plays a huge role. And, and having that digital experience to, um, for the fans at home, but also for the fans on site, because they were waiting for some groups to come, what to do, uh, take out the smartphone and enjoy the live ticker, enjoy the additional statistics we deliver there. So technology plays an important role for consuming sport and make it even more entertaining for, for the fans. And um, therefore, we really appreciate to have a partner like NTD Data to bring us that experience. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think, you know, it, it plays a, such an important role. And for us, it, it is all about engaging the fans and providing them with all the information they need to, you know, fully understand and I think participate. And, you know, I think then that may, whether you're a, a seasoned golf fan or you're completely new um, here for the first time at the golf course, that you then become interested and you continue, continuously, you know, watch golf, whether it's you know, at the course or online in our data experience and, and you continue coming back, so yeah. And obviously for us it's a, it's a good story as a brand because, I mean, we have high technology cars and, and I mean, there so much stuff happened over the last years in the development of that cars and um, showcasing this also on one of our most important experiential formats, the, the BMW International Open and find that joint story and that authentic story to tell, it just makes sense and I think it's a win-win situation for NTD Data, BMW, but of course for the fans. Yeah. Definitely. And you know the great thing about it is it's something that you know we had to develop um, together in partnership in, in 
in real time last year in challenging times. So, you know, when you think of something like COVID, it was incredibly challenging and it was challenging as we evolved our partnership, but it certainly brought about a great opportunity for us. And now we, we bring back the, the live events, which is, is great to see, but, you know, we still have a mixture of both the live and the online experience, which is great. A nice hybrid experience yeah, for many. Yeah, absolutely. But I understand, of course, golf is not only the sport that NTT Dad is involved with. Across the globe, you have partnerships with lots of different sports. I find it absolutely fascinating. Let's take a look. Sports are fast and furious, precise and hard hitting. Sports can be a slog or elegant, but sport is always, always about the fans. All across the world, NTT is using technology to shape the future of sports and bring fans closer to the action. What I love most, I think, just that human interaction with a machine and both of them having to have a perfect day and celebrate winning the Indianapolis 500. What I love about the sport today is there's still those elements of why we were built to test technology and no place is better to test new technologies than the IndyCar and the IndyCar series, but then in the venue as well, making sure our customers feel that technology experience as well. You can't see the whole track, so you don't know what's happening if you're sitting in turn one, what's happening in turn three. That's been really exciting to be able to have a partner that has the knowledge, that has the experience, that has the desire and the passion to know just as much about our sport as we do. Bringing all of that together makes that experience better for our customer. The customer really feels engaged and they walk away feeling like they got insider information that at the end of the day makes the experience so much better and I got a better chance of getting them to come back and enjoy the Indy 500 again. What I love in the Tour de France, this is the technical challenge every day. And when you are talking about the technology, when you are explaining that every day, all the infrastructure, all the system is moving, is shutting down, moving during the night, relight in the, mo in the morning. It's, it's really complicated, it's really complex. We absolutely need to be agile, to be uh, scalable. It's always inspiring to see that we can uh, push the barriers, go further together and create new ideas. We need to connect, we need to engage with all these kind of fans. With the smart stadium, we can create even more connection between people who are on the road and people who are watching the Tour de France in front of their TV or on their mobile. This is the, the concept of a smart stadium. A lot of services has been deployed in a fit stadium for, uh, for the fans. And our idea is to build the same type of experience, but outdoor, in the middle of nowhere, I would say. <laughs> Give more services to the people being able to download virtual reality application for localizing the race. And thanks to NTT, you are definitely more part of the tour than before. Close to the, uh, to the spirit of the Tour de France, we are just building something that doesn't exist for the moment. What I personally love about technology is definitely the social connection that technology can uh, create. That's a part of the greatness of the Tour de France. MLB and NTT have partnered to contribute MLB's further success by accelerating the future of smart sports and by providing a new fan experience of watching sports through technological innovation that transmits the experience of watching dynamic MLB baseball to remote locations in real time. Well, NTT Data and The Open have now had a 10-year relationship, which is, is great. 10 years has flown by, and I'm delighted with the innovation NTT Data has brought to The Open. It's really brought the championship to the forefront of sport with, with everything they do for us, giving the spectator and the fans as much information on the course so they can watch uh, live TV uh, on their app, and they can track all the scores of all the players. They can see the, the most birdied hole, the most difficult holes. Everything is better for the fans. And, Great for the open. NTT 
shaping the future of sports. You know what I found really fascinating is that not only do lots of different sport, but you use different technology in those different sports. What I am wondering, is there any new technologies coming up? Um, well, I mean, I can't say too much because we're, we're launching a lot of this technology in, in the coming weeks. But I think, you know, certainly there is uh, very much a theme and there is the emergence of digital twin technology um, across uh, many of our different sporting events. Um, digital twin, which um, essentially is high quality mapping um, of a physical thing. Um, and in this instance, it's a 3D representation of a golf course. Um, I guess, what does that allow us to do? Uh, that is essentially um, gathering real time data um, across every shot and ball positioning um, across the four days of, of the event. Um, which results in us having really, really rich data insights and it allows us to, to make very complex comparisons, head-to-head um, -head comparisons and, and even future predictions. So uh, really excited about it. And that's it, I guess, in terms of the, the golfing industry. Um, we, as I say, we're also introducing it into to other NTT um, sponsorships this summer. Our indie um, sponsorship um, recently at our Indy 500 we had a digital twin of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway where the event took place and and that enabled us to to run a very safe event on site um, for fans which is something that's really important as the the largest uh, single sporting event uh, in the world. Uh, we're also launching um, digital twin technology at the Tour de France this year uh, which is essentially um, creating a digital twin of every single um, uh, aspect of the route so every single stage of, of the route and you know we think um, a golf course is complex with 350 acres um, in that instance you're talking about over 3,000 kilometers um, so I guess it's something you could, could deem as the, the largest sporting event or venue in, in the world. That is just incredible. And is there any t technology coming up that you are excited about? I mean, hearing that what NTT Data is doing and delivering for the sport is quite, uh, quite, uh, quite impressive. Capturing data and deliver uh, with that data uh, a cool fan experience is just cool. And to have it at our event, uh, the BMW owned event. And um, I think the combination with us seeing ourselves as a technology brand and, and, and tech magic is, became now part of our brand DNA as well with all um, the stuff that is coming in the next year is just as a keyword the autonomous driving and then experience the car from interior uh, and, and getting that entertainment infotainment and all that technology into the car and, and keep our, our core Freude forever um, yeah, for, for all the customers. Um, so yes, there is technology in our products, but also having that showcase with together with NTD Data in the BMW surrounding and benefit from the experience NTD Data is delivering, is, it, it, it's just a perfect mix for us. Yeah. You know what I've really noticed? There seems to be a very close relationship between BMW and NTT Data. How important is that to have in a technology partner? I mean, technology, you, you need all the secure data. You need to, to develop it further and further and, and learn from, from things. And I think this is pretty much in the DNA in both of our, our, our companies. And um, this is just exciting. And I mean, I learned when we started our conversation three years ago that you are, yeah, business partner, an important business partner for BMW for, for nearly 30 years now, which, which years is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it really is, yeah. And I think now w with the BMW International Open Partnership, we, we just brought another aspect in that. Obviously not our core business, but nevertheless a pretty cool showcase to, to deliver our expertise and, uh, and, and especially your expertise uh, in, in a different surrounding. Yeah. And so we're in partnership, I think, yeah. For you, um, having the trust of, of a client and having that sh shared vision, how essential is that to succeed? 
Um, well, I think it's you know vital to have that trusted partnership, um, and I think in order to have that really successful sponsorship, you have to have aligned um, goals and values, and and that's really important. And I think to already have that there cemented with our relationship, it just it makes it so much easier. And I think now we have a really authentic and um, strong partnership, um, which is great. But let's be honest, this is not a small event. This is a massive event. How do you guys work together? I mean, this event happened this year for the 33rd time. I, I don't, mm -hmm. besides the majors, I can't remember a tournament on the DP World Tour existing under the same name uh, with such a tradition. And, and, and having that history and having in our DNA that we want to learn from from things every year and develop it further and further and further. Um, I think this is yeah something really special and differentiate us from from other events as well. And um, keeping that spirit uh, to together with you get get new input also because you have great experience at the Open, uh, which is probably the biggest golf tournament uh, I I in the world, but. Um, benefiting from these experience and, and transport it to, to our event here in, in, in Munich. It, it's just a great story. And I, I'm going to uh, throw something at you, Paula. The importance of passion. I know that Paula has been following golf since she was little, especially BMW events. Yeah, I know, and it, it's it's amazing to you know, think that I work on them and work on them so closely, and was, you know, part of the team that um, you know made made our, our sponsorship happen. So um, you know, there's obviously a real sense of pride for me. Uh, as a kid, I used to go watch golf at Wentworth um, every year, and you know, met Jern and the team there last year to progress our partnership, and and now finally here on site. It's but it, I think it's also, and, and you asked about the partnership, it's uh, also about the people working in that industry and having that passion for not only the game of golf, but for the sports. And I, I think this is just a cool aspect next to the delivering a tournament, delivering an experience to the fans, but having these people behind the scenes, uh, it's just uh, much more enjoyable. And um, then you see also the impact on the turnout of what we're doing together and so on. And I think as well, like you look here and it all seems seamless and it looks effortless. And, you know, it's not until you're here and you see, I think the work, the great work that you and the team do is, is truly remarkable. I mean, it, it takes a mammoth amount of effort to put an event on of this size and, and scale and lots of different teams and organisations working together. I mean, as soon as this event is over, we all start working with you and the team and looking at next year's event and you know what advances we can make in our technology, how we can help you and the team build on that even further and you know how can we elevate that fan experience even more. Do they feel like a vendor or do they feel part of your team? This, I mean we in earlier years everyone was calling sponsor. I think we are only uh, calling that partnerships and um, I think, um, yeah, it is definitely a big team. <laughs> uh, luckily, we have other great partners as well. So it's a huge mm -hmm. family. We also want to bring the partners together. It's, it, it should be a, a platform to, to exchange, to, to work mm -hmm. together and, um, and also create new businesses. And um, yeah, I would definitely call it family and uh, Entity Data is part of the BMW International Open family, of course. That's really lovely that you see it all as family. Thank you, Jorn and Paula. I think that's all the time we have for now. I think it's time to join the fans and get that live golf experience. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.